Hey everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Hip Kit Club design team. And my challenge for today was to use lots of ephemera and to incorporate a wreath into my design. Now I decided to go with a heart-shaped wreath and I also gave myself another challenge for this layout and that was to use colored cardstock as the base for my layout. Now I usually use white cardstock as the base for my layout uh, because I do like to create a lot of mixed media on my backgrounds so to me that's just a lot easier to go with because I have a lot of colors and and all that so um, I chose the Yukon gold cardstock from the September 2020 cardstock kits and I forgot to mention that I am working with the September 2020 hip kits here for this layout and so anyways back to the colored cardstock I usually like I said go with white cardstock uh, I thought it would be fun to challenge myself to use this beautiful rich yellowy gold cardstock because it was gorgeous and I wanted to be able to use it in one of my layouts so I thought this would be perfect and I could build right on top of it and have this beautiful heart wreath pop off the page so what I did was I took some white gesso and I put it around the heart shape that I traced earlier with the pencil. And I tried to blend out and fade the gesso so it wouldn't have so many harsh lines. And I kind of rubbed my fingers into the gesso to blend it out and to fade it. And uh, yeah, so this for sure, I, like there was a, a period of time where I thought, okay, maybe this isn't going to work or maybe I didn't like it, but I stuck with it and I'm really glad that I did because I love how it turned out. So I encourage y'all and I hope I inspire you to, you know, if you usually don't use colored cardstock or maybe if you don't like to have pattern paper as your base, uh, definitely try this out. Or if you don't like to have a mixed media background or, you know, maybe mixed media intimidates you, definitely try something different for the base of your layout and leave a comment and let me know what you did and how you liked it and what you thought or definitely tag me in your social media uh, posts if you're able to challenge yourself and either use a colored cardstock do a mixed media background or you know have a pattern paper as the base for your layout so uh, what I've done so far is now I'm working on the mixed media portion of my layout. I pulled a Distress Oxide ink from my stash. And this one I believe is Victorian Velvet or it may be Tattered Rose. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, but I'm pairing it with the colors from the uh, color kit. And the color that I'm working with right now, it's a Lindy's Magical uh, Pigment Powder and it's called Well Watch Blue. And I'm eventually going to also pull in the other two colors from the kit. Uh, that is called, or they're called Clam Bake Beige as well as Ramblin' Rose Pink. Now, in the beginning, this first coat that I put on, uh, the Lindy's Magical Powders, I don't know if it reacts with the Liquitex Gesso. I have like premium gesso that I was using, so I don't know why, but for some reason the colors kind of fade out. And I'm usually, us eh, I'm usually pretty conservative when I apply my colors. Uh, if I need to if I need to add several different coats, I'll do that. But for the most part, I do like to add a lot of water. I like to keep m most of my colors somewhat, you know, muted or um, not too bright. So uh, when I did this first coat and I looked at it overnight, a lot of the color went away. So what I did was the next day, I just went uh, ahead and added another coat, but was really heavy handed and didn't water it down too much. And the colors were fine. It worked perfectly for me. So uh, I'm going to let this dry overnight and then I'm going to show you what it looks like the next day and that I also pulled in those other two colors and I got some more vibrant uh, colors the second time around. So here it is right there. Like I said, I was pretty heavy handed. I ended up mixing the blue and the pink to create the purple that matches uh, the uh, Pink Fresh Studio Days of Splendor collection. And then I ran it through my sewing machine with some gold thread and I went around it several times in the heart shape to create extra texture and to create something for my wreath to sit on. Now, <laughs> the majority of my stitching, the majority of my mixed media gets covered up because I do get crazy with the ephemera and I can't stop because they're so cute. Uh, but I, they are, you could see the color, you could see the thread underneath in some, in some areas. And that's what I was really going for. Something subtle, something for it to sit on. And I love how this layout turned out. So I have pulled out the ephemera, uh, the floral ephemera pack from the Pink Fresh Studio Collection uh, Days, of, Days of Splendor, and I'm grabbing the larger floral pieces first. I'm going to lay those down. Those will be 
like the starting points for everything else. The, I wanted the big elements to be down first and then I'm going to go ahead and tuck and layer all of the other smaller pieces after. So I'll add in the other florals, I'll tuck in a lot of the leaves and stems and then I'm going to also pop some up on uh, foam tape and only apply like adhesive on certain you know portions of the leaves that way I can kind of pull them up and ruffle them so that there's extra dimension and uh, layers to this adorable heart wreath and now I love ephemera I don't know if I've said that before um, ephemera is probably one of my favorite embellishments so as soon as I saw that I was assigned this challenge it really made me excited <laughs> I love working with floral ephemera and then creating wreaths out of them is just so awesome and I just love the design of it so especially a heart design it's super fun to create a heart and because you can tuck in your photo anywhere and just you know it's just completely different and I especially love how all of those colors sit on top of that Yukon gold cardstock um, so yeah so I'm using the embellishment kit I believe I have elements from the pocket life kit and elements from the main kit uh, for this layout and I had a lot of fun so I'm using the uh, Pink Fresh Studio stickers here I'm using one of those stickers as a layering piece behind my photo and then I pulled the actual ephemera from the collection and pulled a few pieces from that and that's uh, what where I got my title where it says everyday magic and then uh, I did try to add one of these like uh, tags here uh, but it kind of did not fit in that you know that section I because I didn't like I needed something to fill that area underneath my photo I didn't like how it was just kind of floating there and I wanted it to be more grounded so I'll end up pulling a piece here in just a second so there's my title I did add some foam tape to it to make sure that everything is level on my layout like I said a lot of those floral pieces did have foam tape so I needed to make sure that my title was brought up as well I added that frame ephemera piece, some tangled thread, and I'm going to pull in some of the chipboard flare and get that adhered down. And let's see what else. And I have it super sped up at this point because I'm just embellishing. Uh, the wreath is done. I'm just adding a few extra elements, and I thought that I could speed through that as well so this video wouldn't be too crazy long. And here is where I'm looking for something to fill in that little empty space. So I chose the sticker right here that says family time and I added some foam tape on top of that to pop that up and it nestled perfectly uh, in that area. And yes, <laughs> Jen Scow loves to say nestling and I just have totally used that as well. I like to tuck things here and there and find, you know, perfect spots. Uh, so yeah, that is definitely something that Jen always says, which is awesome because she creates beautiful layouts. All right, so um, I pulled in a few stickers from the Jen Hadfield The Avenue sticker sheet, and then I've also am pulling in some of the butterflies from this uh, Maggie Holmes Marigold sticker book as well. I just stuck those directly onto the layout, and I didn't back those with cardstock. I just stuck those right down, and then I added that chipboard a sticker that says fall I tucked that in right there and then I am going to go in with some of these enamel dots also from the days of splendor collection and I did want to add a little something so I cut into this gorgeous pink and white striped uh, pattern paper from pink fresh studio and I'm going to stick it down at the bottom of my layout and then I'm going to cut into that Yukon gold cardstock just to have a bit of pink um, peeking out just to break up a lot of that uh, bold uh, colored cardstock and I love how this turned out. So I'm just going to ruffle it up and then I'm going to take my little Heidi Swap stapler here. Somebody had asked me, I need to reply to that comment, somebody asked me about my colored staples. Uh, this is from the Heidi Swap Color Fresh stapler. It, they are bigger than the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher so they are two separate staples and I can't interchange the two. Um, so yeah, that is it. Here is a photo of my final or here's a final photo of my layout. I love how this turned out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. I really appreciate y'all um, supporting my channel and the content that I'm putting out. It really means a lot to me. Uh, so thank you so much. Even if I'm not able to respond to your comments right away, I do see them. And thank you so much. Uh, I hope I've inspired you in some way today to create some uh, layouts using ephemera and to create a wreath in any shape or form. Uh, definitely check out the Hip Kit Club kits down below in the description box, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!